be replacing the rear brakes on the Mercedes CLA. Uh, you gotta be careful with the rear actuator, uh, e brake actuator. You gotta go in the computer and pull the actuator back. So here's the plastic actuator. Um, you go on the computer, we'll tell it to reset, we'll pull it all the way back. If you don't do that, you're gonna crush these gears right back here that actuate it. So pull these two bolts, 13 millimeter, get a wrench, hold that boat bolt, pull it off. Then you go on your computer and uh, turn your key on. I'll show you how to do that. Hold that bolt. Sometimes you got to hold this bolt right here. support this so you don't ruin your brake lines and you see right here this is all fully extended if you were just to push this in right now it would uh, ruin the gears you'd have to replace this e-brake setting so you go into the computer Close the door. You use the call button, hold that, and then push OK. Press the call, OK button, hold for five seconds. I'll give you that screen. Go down to pad replacements, hit OK. To move the fitting, position. Press OK. OK. What that does is it tracks that actuator. See it spin there. Once it's like that then you could push that piston back slowly. This little tool right here costs like five bucks on uh, Rock Auto. Definitely worth the five dollars. Slowly turn that. Alright, move your old pads. You get Bosch uh, brake pads. They actually, come with grease. It's kind of nice. I want to make sure these are nice and free.
So the whole time your car is in the on position. So I did one side, went into the computer, reset it, did the brake pads, put the tire back on, and then now I'm doing this second side. You could put it both up in the air and do it all at the same time, probably be easier, but. So once you do that, go back and pump your brakes before you reset it. So you go back to your computer. Okay. So you go back to the computer, you hit OK twice, then exit, and then you're out of it. All you gotta do is put your tire back on, and it's done.